Hello everyone. In our previous session of Data Wave series, we have seen what is the advantage of a preview feature. So, if at all you are not sure about using, you know, uh, how to write the syntax, please make sure you are using preview feature. So, hereafter, I'll be, you know, explaining all the Data Wave syntaxes with the help of preview feature because I don't want to have like input passing from Postman and see the output. I don't want that thing. But I'll also show you how to, you know, make changes in the code and all in the real time so uh, let's get started so in this series uh, of uh, in this particular part i'll be discussing about map and map object syntaxes or operators of data view which is like very widely used and very important when you are working for transformation with arrays and objects okay we shall see which syntax is used for arrays and which syntax is used for object but uh, before that uh, getting started people who are new to mulesoft or you who are new to this coding part they have to understand first what is an array and what is an object so first we will be discussing about what is an array and what is the object and what are the some tips to remember okay uh, because without knowing what is an array or object you cannot start coding okay so I'll show you some tips uh, to remember so that it will be always easy for you to identify what is an array or what is an object so understanding array and object so how to identify an object and array First, when it comes to object, right, when we say it is an object, that means it is always enclosed with flower bracket flower braces you can see this is highlighted in red okay and this flower braces within flower braces it always contain a key and value pair so key will always be a string okay it is always a string and value can be anything whether it can be a string or number or array or an object or anything but key should always be a string and value can be anything and it should be enclosed with the flower braces so whenever you see flower braces that means it is an object all right for example you can see here right uh, name and sravan name is called as key sravan is called as value and name i told you it it should always be a string okay and uh, value can be anything for now here it is a string and it is enclosed within flower braces and key and value pair are separated by colon not equal to okay most of them even get confused uh, you know whether they will be thinking that uh, you know we can use equal to also but uh, the actual syntax is within flower braces it should be a key value pair where key and value will be separated by colon so this is a valid object all right so if you see this example we can have you know in within one object we can have multiple key value pairs okay you can see here and multiple key value pairs are, are separated by comma comma is very important it's not semicolon it is comma okay don't forget that you can see here name and seven is one key one key value pair and id and two are another key value pair both are both are enclosed within uh, flower braces and they are separated by comma so this is also a valid object and if you see this example right you can see something is missing over here these are enclosed within flower braces but there is no key how can I so I, I cannot say whether it is no key or no value because I don't know whether it is a key or value because there is no colon always to the left side of the colon it is called as key right side of the colon it is called as value here there is no colon itself so it is not a object all right and if you see this example as well you can see name and sravan key value pair yes that which is perfectly fine but uh, after comma i told you right comma it should be adding another one more key value pair but two it doesn't have a key or like we we cannot say it is a key or value so here it is also failing so it is not a valid object so this is how you can identify an object so simple thing you can uh, whenever you see flower braces it should have key value pair if you want to have multiple key value pairs they must be separated by comma and each key value pair is separated by colon all right and how to identify array so identifying array is always to if at all you see something is enclosed within square brackets earlier in object we have seen that it is enclosed within flower braces but uh, if it is enclosed within square brackets and which contains only values unlike in object in object we are expecting key value pairs but here in array we are expecting only values that means there should be no colon used here in arrays all right so it should, array should be enclosed within square brackets and should contain always values so for example 
here you can see sravan 2 and mu soft this is these are enclosed within square brackets and each value is separated by comma that means it is like array of multiple values we can pass multiple values but they should be uh, separated by comma so this is common thing right even we have seen in object the key value pairs are separated by comma likewise in array also it will be separated by comma so this is a valid array there are no key value pairs it's just the value for if you see this particular example this this is the combination of both flower braces and square braces so how to identify how to validate things first always so this is a json right json message always try to validate from outer brackets if and then come to come within like inner brackets okay now what is there in outer brackets you can see outer brackets are covered with flower braces that means an object so what should an object have object should have a key and a value pair so here there is key called name and how i am judging that it is a key value pair because i can see colon over there right name colon something is there i told you right object uh, an object value can be a string or array or another object anything so here name is key and value is something again we are seeing some brackets so what kind of brackets it is square brackets when it comes to square brackets now we have to validate that means it whether it is a valid array or not here according to the rules it is a valid array because it is having only values and are separated by comma so even this is a valid array and this example if you can see uh, what are the brackets we are seeing here the third example is like square brackets so whenever we are seeing square brackets that means uh, it is an array but array should not have a key value pair it should be only values we are seeing colon over here colon is always like you know used for com combining key and value this is not an object we are enclosing it in array so this is not at all a valid array because uh, this is like show something like key value pair array should have only values okay let's see more kind of hands-on i'll take one or two minutes to uh, explain you with more few examples okay so to validate json uh, json or array or object website is always jsonlint.com okay just we shall try few examples so let me see tell you okay name colon sravan so this is always a valid object because it says valid json it is a valid json whenever it satisfies the object and array conditions okay so this is fine next thing is comma i what i can say is id colon 1 comma 2 comma 3 now i should validate whether this is a valid json or not how to validate this i have i told you one small tip that whenever uh, you are trying to validate something right start with outer brackets whenever I see outer brackets It should be an object. So object should always contains a key value pair now You can see a comma. It is a comma separated, right? That means it is having multiple key value pairs So now start from here this key value pair name and sravan which is valid now now after this comma There is another key value pair now. We should decide whether this one is valid or not ID colon square brackets again okay well i told you right in an object in key value pair value can be anything now as this is enclosed within square brackets that means it is an array now the condition for array is it should only contains values so one is a value two is a value three is a value it is not any you know key value pair and it is separated by comma so when you validate this json it will give you the formatted structure and it is saying valid json all right so let me add one more thing saying like uh, name colon or organization let me give organization colon mule okay now we have to validate whether it is a valid object or valid json or not same thing uh, start with outer brackets yes it is an object and then see key value pairs separated by comma this is a valid key value pair this is a valid key value pair we have already seen now i told you object should contain key value pairs but here you can see this is having only value there is no key for it okay and uh, that's the reason it is the validation is failing okay so here you can see if i add a key here right detail something like details 
then now is it a valid JSON? No, because still this part is failing here, right? This is key which is fine and this we are seeing value and value is there something within square brackets. Even now if you validate the JSON, it will say it is not valid because our array is not satisfying the thing. So, what you can do is if you remove this colon and keep like comma, then it will become a valid JSON, ok. This is like object of uh, you know having multiple uh, values within object. Now, let me take square brackets right array of objects. So, here you can see hi mule ok. If I try to validate it, it will be not a valid JSON because array should contain only values, but not key value pairs this is done. Next, what I wanted to do is can I use a key value hi hello just wanted to make sure whether this is a valid JSON or not. Now, validate from outer part ok, it is a square bracket yes and then hi hello is a key value pair, but array should all, uh, always have values, but not array, uh, not key value pair. If you validate this JSON, it will say no, then how to make it this one as a valid JSON alright. So, a value cannot uh, cannot be a key value pair, but a value can be an object ok. One value can be a object, if you consider this whole part, it, it, it the array will consider this as one particular value ok, hi and hello ok. This will consider as one value and this will consider as the another value. When you click on validate JSON, here you can see it is a valid JSON right. So, likewise we can have multiple you know this these are called like you know array of objects, you can have multiple array of objects. So, each object is considered as one value ok. Hello, how are you? world something. When you validate the JSON, you can see here, these are the outer brackets array which has one value. Again you have to validate each whenever you are seeing a bracket right, again you should see whether this is a valid object or not. Hi, hello. For example, if I remove this part and click on validation, this will fail because this is failing the conditions for object. So, object should always have key value pair right. So, this is how you can validate the JSON. So, if you are uh, uh, good at uh, you know uh, knowing things like what is an object and now what is an array, then you can get started with your map and map object. So, let us see uh, more about map and map object alright. So, let me skip. So, map and map object. So, when we have to use map and when we have to use map object. So, here the first statements itself is showing say, saying that map operator is used only on arrays. Map object is used only for objects that means, whenever you see flower braces then use map object, whenever you see square braces please use map operator. This is very common question that whenever someone asks you in interview and very basic thing before getting started with data wave ok. You cannot use map object for arrays and uh, vice versa you cannot use map operator for objects alright. And uh, there are some things some syntax right, whenever we write syntax we will come across dollar and dollar dollar. What is dollar? Dollar will give the value of that particular field or key ok and dollar dollar will give the index of that field, index means the 0, 1, 2 which row it is, which object it is ok. We will see more in hands on ok. Uh, Let us go back to our any point studio ok and let me create a new XML, new, new configuration map and map object ok. I told you right, I will be using a preview data view preview to show you ok. Let me put some examples over here, let us start with map operator first ok. So, I told you right, always it is best to keep JSON first ok 
and then go to single window i will explain you this mapping from so why i am not going with mapping things you know of dragging and dropping things i want you guys to get familiar with coding okay if you drag and drop from input to output the syntax will come automatically here but i don't want you guys to learn in that way first go ahead with you know uh, uh, writing syntaxes then you can learn this way we will show it in other video as well okay so now go to single plane window and preview let's wait for it and before that let me create a sample i told you right uh, we can map operator is used only on array okay and inside it can be anything okay but this is an array which is a valid json let me put some name sravan okay and this is an object right this is an object that means i can add multiple key value pairs like id 2 likewise what i can do is i can add two more things here all right i can say lingam i can say 3 i can say mu i can say 4 so let me validate this okay always it is best practice to validate the input okay and uh, here you can see my data view preview is there all right so to have a sample data okay to have a sample data what you can do is you can create a local variable this where give some name where a equal to okay pass the input so not input pass the data so this where is totally different from where's okay this where is a local variable that is just confined to this particular transfer message this value will not be accessible out of this transfer message okay don't get confused about that okay a what is a if you just type a over here it will print the details of your array now what i wanted to do is my scenario is they will be asking there will be a scenario where you have to convert all these names into uppercase that is your requirement then what to do okay that means what we need to do we need to iterate over each object right it is each object we need to fetch the value of name convert it into uppercase so for that the reason uh, what we are doing is we are using map operator again in the previous session i have given you one small advice that don't get started with uh, uh, writing syntax directly okay this is not a, not at all helpful okay just first type map and type dollar that's it stay like that okay now you can see there is no error here that means a map dollar will give same like the output which is like a okay a and a dot a map dollar are one and the same now what is the syntax that we have to use okay just remove this dollar and use flower braces okay go step by step don't write the syntax right away okay a map flower basis if you are writing this syntax like this you are seeing output something like this what does this represent okay a map dollar it is giving three flower braces that means what it is saying is your array is having three objects okay and this is first object second object third object okay first before getting uh, into things like converting it to upper of and uh, lower of, upper of this name i wanted to show you what is a dollar okay what is a dollar dollar here it is giving an error because dollar is a sub uh, dollar is something like you know uh, a syntax right so if you want to print dollar as a sign just use the escape character like this that way it will print here dollar or why because dollar itself is a syntax so we cannot use this here so just but still if you want to use to see here you can use this escape character all right now what is dollar if i if i use dollar here you can see what is dollar is giving the value of first value what is dollar is giving the second value dollar is something like it is the value of each object it is it is printing the whole object here right okay what is then what is dollar dollar i told you right dollar dollar will give the index of here also now it is again giving error because we are escaping the character for first dollar use another this one okay likewise then it will print like dollar dollar here so make sure that you are escaping that 
Okay. So, what is dollar dollar now? I have I have shown in this uh, slide, isn't it? So, dollar dollar gives the index of the field. Okay. That means index is like 0, 1, 2. There are three rows and always index starts with 0. All right. So, this is dollar dollar and what is dollar is that one. Now, if you want to uh, have what is name, right? So, dollar I told you dollar is used to uh, fetch the value of one specific field, right? In my lecture, I have said like gives the value of one particular field. How it will give for that particular field? Okay, dollar dot whatever value is there. If you see like dot name, then it will print names of it. Okay, so dollar is used to fetch the value of that particular key. Dollar dot key will give the resultant of the values. You can see here Sravan, Lingam, and Mule. If you want to print the values 2, 3, 4, that means I have to fetch the value of dollar dot key name. What is key name? ID, right? Okay. Now you can see like 2, 3, 4. Okay. This is ID. So let me put back like name, comma, what is ID? Dollar dot ID. Okay. In this way, you are getting name and ID. Okay. Now, what I can do? I told my use case is to convert this name into uppercase. For upper, we have a syntax in data view, very simple one, upper of dollar dot name. Okay. Now, you can see every name is converted into uppercase. Okay. Upper can be only used on strings. It cannot be used on arrays. Okay. If you say upper of A, it will give wrong. Okay. Let me can't uh, remove this upper of a if i say it will throw an error because upper you call the function upper with these arguments array but it expects string so uh, upper we cannot use directly like that that's the reason we are using map operator so that you can see when i remove this upper right what it is there it is a single value in each field for that now i am appending like upper of sravan okay so this is how you have to start do not go just whenever you are, when you are new to coding right do not just write the syntax right away understand. So, what we have done first, first I have written a map dollar that is my first step and observed how the input is now for the now then I have removed this and you know added like flower bases and observed what is going on and then I have typed all these things. Okay. This is ma a map dollar uh, flower prices, but it is always best to use another syntax instead of directly using a map flower basis. What is that? Okay, I'll just comment out this code. To comment out, it's like you know, forward slash star and star forward slash, and okay, this is how you can comment the code. Okay, now what is the another way to uh, write a map uh, function. Okay, it's a. If you see a, this is my a. Always write map small brackets. Give some like you know key comma index anything followed by iphone greater than symbol and flower basis. Only thing extra what we have added when we compared with this this part. Right. This is the only part when compared to the previous syntax we have added extra. The reason is I will tell you. Okay. A map key comma index I find greater than symbol uh, flower basis. This is again showing like common thing. Now, if you copy and paste the same things this will not work here now. Okay. It will give error because dollar and dollar dollar right. So, let me put what is dollar dollar. Okay what is dollar uh, dollar. So, this will not work because previously when we use map then this dollar and dollar dollar works, but in place when we are using these things right uh, when we are passing parameters like key comma index in place of dollar please use key wherever you are seeing dollar replace it with key and wherever you are seeing dollar dollar you replace with index ok. Just give me a moment. So, it is saying uh, 
let me remove this ok. Okay. So, here you can see now what we now you have to compare what we are doing it here right key is nothing but your dollar when you are not writing anything like this it dollar is nothing but like here key and index is dollar dollar ok. Now, you might be having another doubt do we need to use the same names always no you can use anything for example, you can say like Shravan and Lingam. Okay. Only thing you need to do is change this ok. Uh, so this is like Sravan and this is like Sravan and this give some meaningful names just wanted to show you how things works. So, this is a valid one here you can see right. So, uh, these are the names which you can give, but whatever you are using like map of this is the key value something which is equivalent to dollar and this is like something like dollar dollar index ok make sure you give proper names ok. I will just uh, move it to key and index so that it will be like uh, valid things ok. This is how you have to write the syntax for map and you can work it on you know arrays ok map operator using arrays. Now, what if I have now for example, I have id value 2 comma 3 comma 4 alright and uh, ok. And now, what I wanted to do is here you can see key dot id again it is a array right. So, let me add here also like you know 3 comma 4 3 comma sorry 3 comma 5 6 comma 7 and uh, I can give like you know 6 comma 0 comma 9. So, I have some things like this right. So, let me remove this what is dollar dollar also. So, I have like name and again my va id values are array. Again you can perform here the map operator because it is an array right. It is an array you can perform map operator over here as well. Here map of again start with dollar ok what it is giving whole values. If you see like map of empty braces right sorry. And it is see empty braces it is giving some error right. So, it is always best practice to enclose properly ok before using map dollar ok. We should remove this and clip empty braces flower braces you can see the number of uh, flower braces because I am having for example, I have like you know here if I have only one value it will show only one flower braces because we have only. So, this flower braces will show how many map and flower braces will show how many uh, objects are present inside alright. So, now what you can do here is you can do something like this ok. Uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to add the name of this id with Sravan ok. For example, that means uh, now I will just remove this flower basis and just keep dollar ok, dollar plus plus Sravan. Here it will still give error because a uh, dollar is containing array of values. So, what you have to do map ok, uh, value is dollar which is like you know 4, 3, 6, 7, 6, 0, 8 plus plus you can use this key right here there is something like key key ok just a second what you are calling a map operator with array and this one 0 and 9 plus plus key ok dollar as string let me try this and key sorry key dot name ok, it is key is like array key dot name. In this way you can see 4 Sravan, 3 lingam, 6 lingam, 7 lingam and 6 mule, 0 mule, 9 mule. So, if you want to use the combination of dollar and this thing, so you can use both array of arrays right. Here you are having array of id arrays. In this way you can use make use of both map of key comma index or you can directly use map which is which you can use dollar and dollar dollar ok. You can see here right. So, this key is something which is related to this and this dollar is something related to this one 
okay this is all about map operator so what is map object then okay so we have seen like map operator this is all about map map operator is used for arrays then what is map object used for so let me go to this and uh, map object is used for objects so what i can do is so object right what is a valid object uh, this one so let me put name colon seven okay comma id colon two comma or uh, technology colon again you can have like you know key value pair right value can be like another object as well main is mu so if you see here if you validate this will be a valid object now go back to your code and just replace this a okay if i replace with this a you will get errors over here why i told you right map operator cannot be used on an object it will fail so always use map object okay so i'll remove all this code here i want you guys to do same like me or uh, you know do hands on unless you do hands on you won't understand things you can work more okay you can try out with different inputs all right now you can see a is an object okay so it is a valid object because this is a key value pair this is a key value pair this is a key value pair tech is key value is another object now how to use map object unlike map map previously you have might have seen like map if you just keep like this it will it used to work for map in map object if you are seeing here we have only a map object again we am using data mule runtime 4.3 okay a map object all right and if you see here also right uh, what is dollar so what is dollar here you can see we are getting three values so because there are like three key value pairs it is returning three things right so if you see if you just use dollar here you can see what is dollar is giving seven two and this one then what is that it is directly printing the values previously when we used to have in arrays we used to like use dollar dot name blah 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 right so now this will not accept here because it is saying you call the function value selector it expects the array okay so here you can see dollar means this one okay so it will give all the values of this so in in one more thing there is no need for you to ma uh, use map object operator if you want to fetch any value like id value for example uh, what you can do is uh, if you want to fetch the value of id in an object directly what you can do a dot id right a dot id will give the value of your a and a dot tech will give the value of tech tech is another object here right how to check whether it is a object or string or something there is another beautiful uh, syntax okay type of so type of anything will give the result saying that it is an object right so now coming back to a again always best practice to use map object of okay key comma index okay key comma index comma value there are like three parameters that you can use for map all right then what sorry what is key okay what is index okay what is value all right you can see key is nothing but it is giving like seven and index okay all these things uh, what is the values you can see here uh, 0 1 2 so i think i have used wrong this one this should be like index for best thing okay index and value 
all right so what is key sravan and uh, what is index it is saying in the oh sorry okay index is giving 0 1 2 and what is value again i have given wrong thing here okay this should be value and this should oh one second so my this side is wrong okay this should be index okay let me give index over here and uh, let me put value over here all right so index 0 1 2 that is as usual okay what is a uh, key so this is again something is wrong like uh, key is giving the values right so these are the names which we can give by ourselves but what it is showing is very important now i am observing that it is giving values like sravan right another one is 2 and another one this that means this is actually a value right so for that what i can do is i can just uh, keep this as value and this is like key okay so value okay this is like key okay this is the file so this is how you can observe things okay now you can see what is key what is key tech tech is a key what is key id id is a key and what is key name is a key so here map object accept three parameters the first one will be the value second one will be the keys and third one will be the index okay if you just uh, you know remove this thing okay you can see what is the value you are getting all the values sravan 2 and main view right and uh, what if you remove index uh, like what if you try to print index what is index 0 1 2 that means we are having three key value pairs and what is key key is nothing but the keys if you want to fetch the keys you can make use of this thing all right so these are the few things which you can uh, observe in map object you can make use of this and uh, map object it will al al always accept three parameters first one will be to access the values second one is to access the keys keys means left side part and third one is always about index okay so this is all about map and map object so always uh, try to use the best practice like map object followed by small braces where you can pass three parameters iphone greater than symbol followed by flower braces and your code likewise uh, we have written another map also right for arrays okay this is for arrays Do, instead of writing this always use like you know key comma index okay you can observe these two right key comma index key comma index in map object only one thing is added before key comma index that is value okay so key comma index this one and this will show error because a is object and we cannot map but for your syntax i'm just saying that you know i'll just remove this okay you can say like you know payload whatever is there or where's dot you know where's dot uh, uh, get details or whatever it is okay this is how you can then replace your syntax without using preview you can replace your syntax like this this is the syntax for payload map object value key index and for map it's like key index okay hope you like this session this is more about map and map object please do practice uh, with multiple examples if there are any doubts you can just comment on the uh, video we will be happy to help you thank you